This is question 38. College Board is asking for the mean for these scores where we have a frequency distribution. And what this means is we have one score of 2 in group A, one score of 3, and then two scores of 4. And we can find the mean either by writing out all the scores, add them up, and divide by 20 since there's a total of 20 scores. Or we have a shortcut. They'll, they tell us the mean for A is 5, so the total for A is 5 the mean times 9 the number of values we have is 45 and the total for B is the mean 7 times the number of values 11 is 77 so the total for A and B combined is 45 plus 77 is 122 and our mean is equal to that total 122 divided by the number of scores which is 9 plus 11 equals 20 and that is 6.1 if you don't see the shortcut for how to use the means that they give you of 5 and 7 you can write out all the scores add them up and then divide that sum by 20 and that will give you the same answer you cannot simply average 5 and 7 to get 6 because we don't have the same number of scores in groups A and B so the mean of the two scores will not be the same as the mean for all the scores in group A combined with all the scores in group B. College Board often asks you questions about mean and median frequently with twists like this where they use frequency distributions or ask you to deal with the mean between two groups that have different numbers of values. So make sure you're comfortable with mean and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.